looking at exercise 10.9, learning objective 2 and 3, and it is a material and labor variances. The direct materials and direct labor standards for one bottle of clean all spray are given below, and I've gone ahead and written them out here. Our, our standards for direct materials and direct labor, we can see for direct materials, the quantity is 6 milliliters. The price is 25 cents per milliliter. So it's a total cost of $1.50 in direct materials. And for direct labor, 0.2 hours is uh, the, qu the standard quantity. Uh, we pay $12 per hour. Uh, so when we multiply those out, we have $2.40 per unit, the standard cost. During the most recent month, the following activity was recorded. So we have A. 20,000 milliliters of material was purchased at a cost of 20 cents per milliliter. So let's write our actual here, and we have direct materials and direct labor. So we are being told that 20,000 milliliters were purchased at a cost of 20 cents per milliliter. So there's our actual uh, cost for direct material and actual quantity. B, all the material was used to produce 3,000 bottles of clean all. So we know that our output was 3,000 units and our inventory, just so we know, is zero. That makes calculations a lot easier. And C, 625 hours of direct labor time was recorded. So our actual quantity of direct labor was 625 hours for a total cost of $7,500. So we can go all the way over to here for $7,500. Now, we can figure out what the rate was just by doing some division, but it's not necessary. Number one required, compute the direct materials price and quantity variances for the month. Okay, so, so for number one, we need our actual quantity times our actual price. This is for direct materials. And our actual quantity was 20,000. Our actual price was 0.2. So 20,000 times 0.2 will give us $4,000. And we're going to compare that with our, our actual quantity with what our standard price would have been. So it's still the same 20,000 units times our standard price is 0.25 milliliters. And multiplying that out, we'll get $5,000. So we see that we have a price, a price variance. It is $1,000 favorable. So we have a $1,000 favorable price variance. We're going to compare our actual cost, or sorry, our actual quantity with our standard price with a standard quantity at a standard price. Well, it's six milliliters per unit we have an output of 3,000 units. So 3,000 times 6 milliliters times our cost per our standard cost, which is 0.25. So 18,000 times 0.25 is 4,500. We could have arrived at that by simply multiplying $1.50 by the 3,000. So there are two ways that we can do it. Since there are no inventories and everything was used, we can compare these two numbers directly, and this would be our quantity variance, and we can see that it is 5,000 minus 4,500 is 500 positive. If it's above zero, it is unfavorable. So our total variance that we can see here, our total variance is 1,000 favorable plus 500 unfavorable gives us 500 favorable. We should have incurred $4,500 in expenses. We actually incurred 4,000, so we're 500 favorable. All right, so that one is done. Part two, number two says compute the direct labor rate and efficiency variances for the month. Well, again, I'm not going to write out the formulas each time. We're going to continue down. We need our actual quantity times our actual price. So here's our actual, and we already have it done for us, 7,500. That's why I say we don't really need to calculate the rate per hour because we already have the total. 
So we're going to compare $7,500 with an actual quantity times a standard price. Well, our actual quantity is $625. Our standard price is $12 per hour. So we're going to compare it with 625 times 12 and we will get 7500 so we can see that our rate variance is zero we spent seventy five hundred dollars and for the actual amount of hours we incurred we should have spent seventy five hundred dollars so we're okay there so let's look at our efficiency variance here we're going to need the standard amount of labor hours given the output that we have well, we have an output of 3,000 units, and we should have incurred 0.2 labor hours uh, for each unit. So we can do it the long way, 3,000 uh, uh, units of output times point, uh, point 0.2 times the $12 per hour. And this will give us $7,200. What's the short way of doing it? Well, we can recognize that our standard cost on labor is $2.40 per unit, multiplied directly by the amount of output, we'd still get the same $7,200. So we can look at our efficiency. We should have incurred $7,200, but for the actual amount of hours we had, times the standard cost, it was $7,500, so we are $300 unfavorable. So that our total variance down here is $300 unfavorable. And we're done. Exercise 1010 10. will take us to learning objective two material variances. Refer to the data in exercise 10.9, that's the one we just did. Assume that instead of producing 3,000 bottles of clean all during the month, the company produced only 2,000 bottles using 16,000 milliliters of material. So, the new information here is that we now have inventory. Our inventory, remember we purchased 20,000. Our inventory is now 4,000 because we used 16,000. So you have an inventory of 4,000 and our output changes from 3,000 to 2,000. Compute the direct materials price and quantity variances for the month. Well, that's easy enough. Our um, price variance will remain the same. Our actual quantity times our actual price. You'll recall that there were 20,000 uh, units that we purchased at 20 cents per unit and our total cost was four thousand dollars and we compared that with our actual quantity times our standard price which was twenty thousand units times twenty five cents which was five thousand dollars and we had if you recall a price variance let me call that price variance of one thousand dollars favorable now we want to compare that with a standard quantity for the level of output times the standard price. Well, our level of output is not 3,000 anymore, it's only 2,000. So we can only use the 2,000 multiplied by the six, uh, six uh, milliliters times the standard price of 25 cents. We will get $3,000. We cannot compare the 3,000 with the 5,000 because the 5,000 assumes all 20,000 units. That's the actual quantity were 20,000. But our actual quantity was 16,000. Remember, this is calculated at the time of purchase. This variance is calculated at the time of use. So when we use them, we're only using 16,000 times our standard cost gives us four thousand dollars so now we're ready to compare it our output was two thousand units we should have used twelve thousand to twenty five cents for three thousand we actually used sixteen to create this output that's the difference there so our quantity variance we can see is one thousand 
unfavorable. $1,000 unfavorable. There we go. That was all that was required for 1010.